What's up guys, welcome back again. We got the new software update for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Now this is an incremental, so it may take maybe a week or two weeks, depends on your current geographic location. And as always, this is a security patch level update, no sign for the 7 update. Anyway guys, uh, let's get started and download the update. So it's completely of 750 megabytes of download. Now, it's really bad, they don't uh, tell you exactly the chain log until that you won't download the complete update. So it might not be good for the people, so, you know, we're in rush or maybe, anyway guys, uh, let's see. So we got the update, update downloaded and as you can see this is the chain talk. It shows a couple of information what's new here. The stability for the camera has been improved and the stability for the wireless charging has been improved. They are not mentioning as something new features added. This is just a regular security patch will update along with some fixes. That's a great thing. Uh, but uh, I didn't find any issues with my camera. Uh, I could say 99% time it is working fine. Maybe some for some users it's not working. I was really worried about the wireless charging because you know earlier it's gonna take uh, three minutes of time to get you one percent of top up. So we're gonna see and test this thing in real life. Are the fix things or not? Other than that, you can see here this new and or slash some. Um, these are some you know textual information that you will get in all the updates. But make sure guys you charge your phone completely at least 80 to 90 percentage because sometimes you know it may be stuck in the boot loop so i'm just going to stall the update and we are going to see what kind of things happens after that so we have uh, stalled the update and everything is fine so as usual it is just security patch well update i was wondering why they have it mentioned on the chain log like updated to the uh, july will security patch level they should mention then at least what's new and what's uh, not new so uh, we got the same update patch table and guys uh, its performance is now i think is improved as usual uh, you know, once you install update is working fine so before uh, updating this side uh, it's kind of laggy and a touch base as usual happens the same but after that it's working great and uh, like the first day i unboxed my phone so go ahead and update it update is fine now we're going to see uh, some test for the camera and the wireless charging so they mentioned like stability the camera improvement so uh, camera is working fine you can see the focus is very sharp very quick uh, nothing no, no such major issues at all so i was really hoping something improvement in terms of you know a more speed or taking better color protection even though it is great but it's fine so 8x zoom is working close working great so no issues at all working fine snapping pictures pretty quick now let's see about the videos improvements so again and also guys i was hoping to get some better improvement at least on the 1080p 60 fps and the quad hd because you know that time auto HDR is getting disabled you cannot imp imp change the settings and stabilization also it's good but not too much improved compared to the pixel so it's fine now guys it's time to check out and see with the wireless charging so as, as i mentioned earlier so it's taking a uh, three minute to give you one percent top up and this time it has been increased so as a clip i just shown you is a six minute of uh, charging for your galaxy s8 and we started at uh, 53 percentage and uh, as you can see it has taken less than two minutes now to increase uh, one percentage by that and uh, it's very great actually you know earlier it was taking 300 minutes near to that to top up your phone compared to the wireless charging now it's improving a lot so we got a two percentage now from 50 to 55 so overall uh, it took uh, six minutes exactly maybe less than that 10 to 15 seconds less to uh, get the device top up by three percentage so it's not too fast but yeah it's still great at least double of the wireless charging so it's anyway a great thing so guys uh, we have seen there is improvement on the yeah, wireless charging especially camera is great now performance wise it's really working great this is the introduced score that i got after the update 174 this is highest for mine and about the geek benchmark so the geek benchmark score we got is uh, 6.6k versus 189 to single core so do not trust always no guy let me show you some old archive so this is my fourth software update for my galaxy as you can see the entity score is uh, high still now so it looks like samsung is taking their time to improve the galaxy performance it's really complex software so they might need a bit of time so uh, starting from 164 we got the 174 now so let me know in the comments what is your entity score and if this is exynos variant so might be a little bit slow compared to the qualcomm so i cannot say that because i don't have device now speaking about the geek benchmark you can see the multi-core is always near to the 6.6 k a single score is floating between plus and minus to 2k anyway guys uh, looks great pretty great scores and i will have a speed test very soon so guys there you have it this is your small software of samsung galaxy s8 and s8 plus and this is the pitaka case go ahead and try that it's wireless charging compatible still best case in the world so once again guys thank you so much for watching enjoy your galaxy s8 s8 plus for the new software update thank you for watching i'll talk to you very soon have a great day